Hi guys, Anthony Turnham, photographer here. Today I'm going to show you how I edited this landscape photograph in Adobe Photoshop. In my last video I showed you how I took this raw file and changed it to look like this in Lightroom. I also showed you a version that I would processed a little further in Photoshop. I didn't do much to it, but it did just add that extra little something something to the image. So a few of you have asked if I can show that process. So that's basically what this video is all about. So let's dive right into Photoshop. This version that I've got in front of me at the moment is the version we created in Lightroom from the original RAW and that video is available and I've put a link to that if you've not seen that one already and you want to see how we've got to this stage. But we're actually wanting to push things a little bit further and we're wanting to finish up with an image that looks like this. So before, after, before, after. One of my favorite things to do, the before and after. So what have we done to get there? Let's see, first of all we retouched the sky. I felt that this area was too dark where the clouds were missing. I felt that this was too bright up here and your eye tended to go off of the frame at the top right. So I've literally just painted them out. Painted out with blue over these clouds and I've actually just used the healing brush tool to sample some clouds from over here and paint them in over there. Easy. From there I just wanted to add some contrast. So I used one of my favorite filters which is Contrast Master and that's just really giving it some pop. It almost starting to look a little too, too crunchy uh, for my liking, but I did want to add that contrast. So a way I get around that then is to use another filter which kind of unifies that look. And if you look at that now, that's our Glamour Glow. I've used it at 63%, but if I turn it off and full on, you can see what it's doing there. Now that filter is actually part of the Nick Collection Color Effects Pro. Um, from there, if you go in there and you choose Glamour Glow, it's one of those filters that I'm 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 bastardizing its use really. Um, I believe it would be designed more for portrait photography work to give that kind of 80s glamour look. Um, but I really I I use it for landscapes. I think it gives a really nice glow feel almost like the autumn effect but actually very nice with nice custom control so you can choose how much of the effect you want um, you can choose how saturated you want the final version and you can also um, cool it down or warm it up as well so it's got a nice level of control um, to, to add that nice glow to your image so that's what I did there then I came in and I've used a very cool technique. I think it's cool anyway. Um, it's the using the gradient fill as, the, as your light beams. So I just want to use a different document to show you what I mean by that. So I've just created a base blue layer. And all, all we do is we create a gradient fill by coming down to um, create a new layer and we go gradient and it doesn't matter what we have here at the moment the main thing is we change the style to angle gradient it really honestly doesn't matter what gradient you choose here at the moment so let's just say okay for now and see what our gradients looking like I'll just bring that out of um, out of here right this this is our gradient at the moment um, we've got a little bit of work to do, but it's really easy. Um, it seems complicated, but bear with me, it is easy. So if we click on our gradient, um, from here, rather than having solid, if we choose noise, look at that, all of a sudden we've got beams coming out, but the colours are all funky. So the way we solve that is change the colour model from RGB, red, green, blue, to HSB, and that's going to give us access to this middle part of that, which is saturation. We're going to reduce the saturation all the way down. And now all we need to do is just randomize this until we get a color or um, a gradient that we like the look of that looks as if it's light rays coming out. So for this one, for example, is perfect. So if I click OK, when you come back to this dialog box, you're then able to use the move tool 
and actually position this wherever you want it. So in our case, we'd move it over to the left and have it sitting exactly where the sun is. And we can do that by dropping the opacity and we can then see exactly where we're putting it. Nice. Anyway, so we're using that technique to create our sunbeams. So if I turn our sunbeams on in our actual version, what we can see we've done, this is the layer with them on here. Um, I've, I've changed the blending mode to screen and I've actually introduced a stronger curve. If I turn the curve layer off and on, you can see the curve layer is actually controlling how much of the whites and blacks we see and then the white area of those sunbeams I've actually color toned them um, by coming into my channel drop down here choosing blue bringing that down by bringing the, the blue the top right of the blue curve um, bringing that down we actually introduce more yellow you can see the beam changing yellow but obviously that's way too much but we just want to get that in a place where that t color tonality matches um, in with the rest of the picture from there I've literally just added a, a slight contrast curve like an S curve just to pop in a little more contrast to the image and the final little things I decided to do were just paint in the top of the image up here in the top left to darken down those clouds just a very light wash of a deep blue over there and then the light bloom just adds a real nice glow of light and the way I've achieved that is so so simple um, but I think it's a nice effective thing to do and you can use this a lot with any light sources if you want to make them look like they're glowing and there's atmosphere in the air um, create a new layer get your brush tool sample the color that you want to use a nice like bright orange or um, yellowy color for a light whatever you want to do and then with your let's put the flow at 100 opacity at 100 just so you can see exactly what we're doing one click with a nice big brush right over the top of the Sun kaboom and it's done nothing oh there we go um, now obviously that is not what we want however we may want an element of that so using the opacity slider I can bring that down so I'm just getting a hint of that glow you know somewhere around I don't know, 16 percent for example so before and after with that glow it's subtle but I think it just adds atmosphere to the image and I really love that so guys that is pretty much how we took our Lightroom version and created our finished Photoshop version I hope that's been of some help and interest thanks so much for watching guys I really hope you liked the video if you did do me a favor give me a thumbs up I really appreciate that now this channel is all about me sharing my photography knowledge with you guys whether that's the shoot the post-production Lightroom Photoshop it's all open book and I'm here to share that knowledge with you so if that's something that interests you please consider subscribing to the channel you can do that just by clicking on my face over there um, also there's a couple of other videos that you may enjoy so check those out Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.